All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So originally the plan for today was to stream a good portion of my global world tournament grinding, but as it turns out, I don't really have the time today to sit down and set up a two to eight or 10 hour stream. So instead, we're gonna be using the little time that I do have to go over some general advice and tips for succeeding in the world tournament, whether you play on the global or JP side of the game. In fact, this video is very relevant to both sides of the game right now, since we do have concurrent world tournaments going on for both sides, right? So uh, of course, this video is mainly targeted at newer players who haven't been through a lot of world tournaments in the past, but it could probably be relevant to older players who just need a refresher as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the first thing I'll say here is that the world tournament is a very, very basic event. There's not really that much to it. Essentially, you're bringing your team of seven units and well, six units plus a friend. And you're taking on other people's teams of seven units that are controlled by the computer. And you're making your way through the different stages from the quarterfinals, sorry, the preliminaries to the quarterfinals, to the semifinals, and then the finals, making your way through the difficulties, collecting points along the way. And the whole point or whole goal of this event is to collect as many points as possible before the tournament ends at the end of the weekend. And uh, of course, by the end of that, I mean, you'll be getting like rewards along the way, but by the end, you'll be ranked among other Dokkan players. And the higher that you place, the more rewards you'll be getting. So that's kind of how the world tournament works. And uh, real quick, let's talk about the team building aspect, right? Because I'm sure a lot of people want to know what the best team to bring for the world tournament is. And to answer that question, I'll actually say that I don't really think there is a you know, one best team for the world tournament. I think there are a lot of different teams that you can build that can work perfectly fine on the event up until, you know, the highest difficulty, 30X, and, you know, it will perform, you know, just fine for you as long as you have the right combination of units, right? So even though there isn't a best team, there is a generally accepted formula for team building in the world tournament that has worked very well for most people, myself included, and the formula works like this. So first things first, you want to bring at least two hard hitting attack all units, right? Units that essentially can hit the entire enemy team with their super attack so that you can save your time when you're going through the different stages, right? So think about it like this, right? If you bring only units that attack one enemy at a time, then you're, ha you're having to launch seven supers or rather a minimum of seven supers for every single fight, right? Assuming that each super kills one enemy. But instead, if you bring someone like the STR Broly, who hits really hard and can attack all, usually it just takes one super attack to kill and wipe the entire enemy team. So that's why I'm saying you want to bring at least two of them so that you have a higher chance of getting them on the first rotation. And uh, in my case, I brought the STR LR Broly, who I think is generally accepted to be still the king of world tournament because of how hard he hits, but also because of the guaranteed second super. And uh, also the Fizz DBS Broly is a really, really good attack all unit as well because he does still hit pretty hard. Not as hard as the STR Broly, but hard enough. And uh, he also gives himself a ton of key, which is also important in the world tournament. So for this team, I brought those two guys for my attack all units. And as far as the leader skill goes or the leader of the team, you want a leader who can uh, buff the attack all units. So in this case, the Fizz Broly actually is gonna be the leader for himself and also the STR Broly since he is a full power and movie boss's lead. And uh, that's who I'm bringing for the leader. And after that, you wanna bring some support because when it comes to world tournament, you wanna launch those supers, but the issue is that the friend uh, that you bring actually doesn't activate his leader skill. So you're essentially just working with one leader skill, right? So to ensure that you have a better chance of getting your supers off, especially with the STR Broly or whoever your attack all unit is, uh, you want to bring some support that give key, but also attack and defense to you know, try to ensure that you can kill the enemy or finish the enemy within one super. It's not always going to happen, but having that additional attack support does uh, 
does help, right? So I got the two supports here. We got the AGL Turles, as well as the Fizz Golden Frieza, the free one from the Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, story event. And last but not least, and this is what I bring for every single one of my teams, these two units are always a staple, the Tech Jocko and the Int Chiaotzu. Now, initially, it might seem kind of weird because they don't even have like TUR or UR Awakenings, but they're actually super, super important for the World Tournament because both of them are guaranteed to stun the entire enemy team the first time they appear on rotation and this is very very key very very important because when you get to the higher difficulties like 20x 25x and 30x a super attack from the enemy will wipe you out all right it will do like 300 400 000 damage and you're dead right so you essentially can't let the enemy attack you like for some units some enemies even a non super attack like a normal attack will still do like a hundred thousand plus damage so when you get to those higher difficulties you essentially can't take any attacks unless you bring like a super tank right like a super saiyan 3 vegeta or a tech golden frieza or something like that those guys can eat those supers but for the most part you know, your STR Brolies, your Fizz Brolies, and uh, any other attack all units, they're not gonna be able to withstand a enemy super. So uh, you're gonna want these stunners on rotation on your team so that uh, you can avoid getting supered as much as possible, right? So this is the formula for team building in the World Tournament. Two hard hitting, or two or more hard hitting attack all units, a leader that buffs, those attack all units and one or two support units and then Jocko and Chiaotzu. Obviously it can work if you want to bring a team of just like really hard hitting, you know, single target units, right? Like if you want to bring uh, LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, so on and so forth and do like a Kamehameha team or something like that, that's totally fine. It can work, but it's gonna take like, it's gonna take like 10 times longer to clear each run and if you're going for you know as many points as possible and just trying to get like your missions done and all that stuff then this is definitely the way to go in my opinion so this is the team i'm gonna bring for my personal world tournament run this time and i've pretty much brought a very similar team for the last like i don't know 10 world tournaments i mean obviously i didn't have the broly the dragon ball super broly but i did bring um another i think i brought majin vegeta or it was an lr cell Either way, it was another, you know, hard-hitting attack all unit. Now, as far as your other options go, I know not everybody is going to have the Fizz Broly and the STR LR Broly. Uh, some other good options for attack all units are the Majin Vegeta. Now, his issue, honestly, is that he can only attack all with his 18 key, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. You'll have to bring some items that uh, give him key, like the Fruit of the Tree of Might or orb changing items and all that stuff. Uh, there's also the STR Piccolo, who's actually a very solid option. There is the STR Fat Boo, who gets attack all when he's Doken Awakened. And uh, the AGL Final Form Frieza is a good option. Obviously, the Fizz LR Cell is also a great option. And there's also the STR easy a broly now he can't be run on the same team as the str broly like this lr str broly but if you don't have the lr str broly then this dude extremes he awakened is not a bad option either and the one other one that i would consider bringing that's not on this list is the uh fizz second form frieza the free to play one that has extremes the awakening he can actually hit pretty hard as well but uh yeah i mean your options there's some out there, they're a little bit limited. Of course, these are not all the attack all units in the game, but these are the ones that make sense, you know, at the highest difficulties, right? Like if you bring the Int Raditz or that Fizz Xeno Trunks, like sure they attack all, but they don't really hit hard enough to I think be effective at like 25X or 30X. So as far as units that can fare somewhat okay, at those higher difficulties, these guys can do okay, but the best options are definitely the STR LR Broly and the Fizz Dragon Ball Super Broly, in my opinion, right? Now lastly, we're going to talk about items and uh, the support items I bring. They're always the same. I always bring a Ghost Usher. So obviously, as I said before, you don't want to get hit. So if you have to get hit or like, let's say you don't have the stunners on rotation, 
and you're gonna you feel like you're gonna take a super or even even not a super but like a lot of normal attacks that could probably kill you as well then use the ghost usher it'll be good to go and uh also i will bring king yemas because if you do like a double yemma it's essentially the same thing as a ghost usher because you're not gonna be taking any damage that turn and uh otherwise i do tend to bring some key related items so um i'll go with like a free fruit of the tree of might or an orb changer like the uh, poor right here that changes blue spheres to red spheres for my Broly. Um, obviously, the type of orb changer you'll bring is gonna be dependent on like what your attack all your main attack all unit will be. So let's say you're using Majin Vegeta, then you'll want to bring the AGL orb changer. And what else is there? Um, if you're out of Ghost Ushers, Baba is not a bad choice either because she ensures that at the very least you're not going to be super attacked, but like I said, at the higher difficulties, you are still going to be taking a lot of damage for normal attacks. And obviously, King Yemma can be substituted for other damage reduction items like Icarus's or Weiss's or even, um, you know, the Nurse Chi-Chi's, but honestly, King Yemma is so common that you really shouldn't have to, and the other items I mentioned are a lot more rare, so if you can, definitely bring King Yemma's instead of the you know, Whis or Icarus and stuff like that. Save those for Super Battle Road and uh, just use the King Yemma, the Ghost Usher, and some Orb items, and you'll be good to go. Oh, and one last thing, Friend Leader. The Friend Leader, I would just go with an STR Broly as well, since, uh, as I said, he is the king of World Tournament. He hits super hard, he has the additional uh, second super, and uh, he just makes clearing the event really, really fast. And I think most people are going for speed. So uh, yeah, I would bring the second Broly. If you want a little bit of an easier time getting supers off, they can also go for a friend DBS Fizz Broly. But as I said, he doesn't hit as hard as the STR Broly. And sometimes he'll leave certain enemies alive, like especially STR enemies, um, he can't finish them off. So. That's something you'll have to be, you know, aware of so that you don't get killed by an enemy that your Fizz Broly can't finish. But uh, yeah, guys, that is the video. Hopefully it helps some of you guys and uh, good luck on your grind. And hopefully if I have some time later this weekend, then I'll also see you in a stream and we can get through this world tournament together. But for now, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.